In addition to the bending and the stretching, the main thing that makes rubber hose special is the fact that it's 100% shape layers, which means that you can grab a hose and adjust it the same way you would any type of shape layer. You can bump up the stroke width, change the color, and if you happen to have butt capper, you can change the stroke cap, just like that. To start customizing a hose's style, we're gonna twirl down into the layer itself. You're gonna see a style group and an admin group. Ignore the admin, that's just math stuff. Base hoses where all the color and width is happening. So twirl down that and we can change that to maybe a blue. And re-enable the controllers and we have full control over it. So let's make a leg out of it. We'll change that to a skin tone. Select the base hose, rename it to leg, duplicate it and name it pants. We'll change that back to blue. So that to a butt cap. There are a lot of shape layer effects and modifiers in here that we can use. We're gonna use a trim pass to trim it and bump up the width a little bit. So duplicate that. We can create a bit of a seam by changing it to dashes and everything can be changed and reshaped based on the controllers. Maybe we don't like that we can see the top of the leg here. So we'll duplicate the pants layer, delete the dashes, change it back to round cap and trim it up so that it's just at the top half. Place that below our pants layer and we have a round top. Part of the fun of all these shape layer modifiers is just experimenting and exploring new ways that you can create fun shapes. So here we're going to duplicate the rubber hose and we're going to enlarge it, and trim it up so trim it up to be just one percent and adjust the offset so that it, we create ends. We've got kind of a barbell thing going on here. Maybe we want some inner circles inside of those. Darken them and adjust the stroke width and that's something we can work with. Maybe we want something in the center, like a center segment. So we'll duplicate that and change the offset to be 180 degrees and that plaps it right down in the center. Turn the controllers back on and we have the same level of control and movement. By default, hoses come with just a stroke, but you can add a fill by going to the add menu. This is kind of interesting because it lets you create some sort of a polygon thing that you have sort of control over. It's a weird little byproduct, but can be fun to play with. But what we're going to do right now is add an offset paths. Looks like we're back to a stroke. It actually took our arc shape and turned it into a fill that is being filled with red. You can adjust the offset amount to thicken it up and turn the fill off and turn the stroke back on. And now we have a hollow shape that can be adjusted. Turn the fill back on. We can also add a trim path like we did before. Depending on the stack order, if we put it below the offset path, it'll trim just like it's a stroke. But if we put it after, it'll trim the shape itself and how it's being built. This can be very handy if you're trying to do a stroked outline around a leg or an arm or something. And same as before, we have full curve control. Let's say you've created a style that's got a lot of complex layering, or the style has changed a little bit as you've gone along through the project. You want to reuse it, but rebuilding it is probably going to take a lot of time. What we can do is use these two buttons right here, style copy and style paste. So we select a hose, copy, jump into another comp, select that hose, paste. And just like that, we have uh, your style pasted onto a new hose. Have fun experimenting with what can be built with hose styles. In the next video, we're going to get into some of the more advanced features. Thanks. Hey.